Better be good, you hear? I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how big and strong you are. Spook you here. Come on. You're not so nasty. I found him. You're a good man, mister. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse. Aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? And why you're out to give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Warren, but a snake that spooked him. <clears throat> you're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. Young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish, enjoy the outside. I weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great, so between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's Run there. Thanks again. Man, you throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. Ah. 
Alright, boy. Any business in mind? I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry? Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. Just get out of my way. Hey, now, watch yourself. Arthur London there. See here? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> the man's dead? What's wrong with you? Oh, boy. You can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a-knockin'. <laughs> You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken money lender.
never listen to me. It's like talking to a goddamn wall. <laughs> you to work in that mine no more, okay? Would you rather I'll go back to thieving? Hmm? I'm providing for my family. Well, you can't you provide right? for us if you ain't got That's no money. an argument. I'm not putting on a show for the whole town. He's just scared. Good job's hard to find. A good job? Caking your lungs for a couple of dollars a week? Scared or not, he's gonna ruin us both. Sir? Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama... Mama can't leave. Or won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, son. Sorry about all of this. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fella down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you see? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards, uh, Willard's Rest. I'll see what I can do.
Hi. Well, dearie, I've been to jail, but it weren't my fault. I'm sure. That's enough now, partner. Oh, no. You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. Hey. Listen. Listen to me. <coughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. I know. Listen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was, uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son, Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> Of what? You loved him. You did everything for him. Let's get you home. All right. Let's go. Sorry it had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. I'm sorry we won't bring Thomas back. I know. <laughs> so you're sick now, too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No. I ain't looking for that. Okay, then. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying, because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Help someone who can still be helped. Archie should be waiting for us just up ahead. Mama! Mama! Oh, oh. oh, oh. you silly boy. Archie, oh, we do. Get out of here. Go live someplace else. Start over. Here, take this. I don't need it no more. I don't want your money. Yeah, I know you don't want it. I don't. You sure as shit need it. Take it. No. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. But don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here. Please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for... For pride, I've seen it kill too many folk. Don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. Let's go, boy. You're back. Welcome. What can I help you with? I'd like a room, please. The room is yours for the night. It is ready. Just come back if you need anything. We done here? Sorry, ma'am. Oh, okay, then. No harm done.
Careful. Look out! Morning, dude. Hello. This is London Derry. Be brave. <coughs> Off has dead. I know. Uh, I'm sorry for it. It's just we lent Arthur some money, you see, and so it was you. So much. What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies? What little there is? Won't be a lot down for you. No, no. I... Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. There ain't nothing left, mister. Uh... 
just wanted to say the debt canceled and to here, take this. It won't bring your husband back, I know. You need money and I don't. Well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. But you know, maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things differently. Like, not threaten a man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am. Morning, Arthur. Mary Beth. Forgive me, Tilly. Stop it. Things are gonna be okay, Jack. Can I go play in the Hey. Ah, how did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just Danny. Hmm. Just get him. What? 
Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you. Though I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us. If we could be shamed any more than we already are, that should do. Go! I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job! You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now here, take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving. I don't take care of that. I should sharpen my razor. Only a trim or something fancy like.
Whiskers are all the fashion now, from what I hear. Got an idea of what you want? Like I always say, your hair is your first impression. Just name your style. Okay. Now that isn't half bad, huh? Please, Hello? tell your friends about us. Thank you. Really. Young lady, ridicule your disfigurement. Disfigurement? You murdered her in cold blood. For your awful vanity and pride, you will pay. I wish whiskey grew on trees. Any last words before the noose? That ugly bitch deserves what she got. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sadie, I really can't. I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But... But nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why ain't the crime sort? But I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. All right, here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Uh, how many times, Marshal? We good? Uh. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. John. Hey, I think I see him. There's a group. In front of that barn, just to our right. Ah, uh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out, and let's go get our boy. Okay. Wait, shit! I don't think that was John. Well, let's go over there and see. Okay, come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. Arthur, let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You, <laughs> mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't... He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now. <laughs> Ah! 
Where's John Marston? Uh, uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go uh, and get him together. Uh, uh, Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> Now, why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh... He's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Don't shoot! Bastard! Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Put the weapons down now! Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's inside, today. He? They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Milliken, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, sir? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, now, faster. 14, 15, 16, 17. Now, hurry up. 18, well, this 18, poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. <laughs> and over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. <laughs> don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Milliken here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! Take the pistol! Let's clear these and make a run for it! God. I'm the hell with you! I need some help! Look out! Someone coming out the front gate!
Some fellas coming here don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys, let's move. I'll row. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You, you're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us. Turn that boat around, or we will gun you down. Can't do that, fellas. You good, dead. I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Well, hurry up! They're gonna be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Ugh. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur, he was like, like family. Young Lenny, too. No. What a goddamn mess. And did we... What about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It was the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a... A moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. <laughs> Guess not.
He brought him back to me. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Sorry. I was miles away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I... I have you as a friend. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Uh-huh. Where's Kane? Has anyone seen Kane? Where's Kane? Miss Grimshaw, have you seen Kane? Oh, no, son, sorry I haven't. I'm sure he'll turn up, though. He's a wanderer. I'm really worried. King! Come on! King! King! Are you sad, too? I'm okay, I suppose. Howdy do, Arthur. <laughs> All right. Seems we're making a whole lot of trouble. No real reason. Making trouble for those who deserve it always seem reason enough for Dutch. Problem is, I ain't sure he cares who he's fighting no more. You can't kill everyone. So, not again.
Okay, boy. Yeah. Problem, partner. You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. Yeah, and not inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show <laughs> up. We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us has passed. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the wheat go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us penned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. <laughs> we need money, but revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are we gonna say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. We're wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur. And I want out. And he... He won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these crates.
Will you get out of sight? Arthur, I said get yourself hidden. Thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderland. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Dinsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Dinsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. And it's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your man! Noise, Arthur! Noise! Oh shit! Paper cuts! Ah, what the hell have you done, Dutch? Come on! Mike is going after those papers! Let's find him and get out of here! This is the only way! 
You'll see. Trust me. Trust you. You sure you got the lungs for this, Morgan? Shut the hell up. Come ahead. There's more of them. You said this wasn't a room. from that coach! Let's go! Well, at least we tried talking it out. Boys, you've lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on! <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to block us off. Go right! Okay. Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to Santa Anita to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go, too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And, Mike, we need to talk. 
Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. He's watching. He's always watching. He's never talking. They won't forgive you. Uh-uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. None. I, I know you want it. I can smell it on you. <laughs> Well, it ain't happening. No, 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 it isn't. <laughs> that's why, that, that, that's why uh, I'm out here well away from them. See, they come for me, but I'm watching. <laughs> I, I never sleep. I never do. Pardon, Mrs. Adler.
Reverend? <clears throat> you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm in Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion. And then we disappear. We need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we, um... Pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderland. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. The men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them to try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We got enough folks coming after us without adding an army to the list. You going to let these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. 